e to the ln of x squared minus 3x to the negative 7. And e to the ln of x squared simplifies to x squared because e and natural log are inverses of each other. So if you take e, e to the natural log of something, it's equal to that something. We undo each other. Minus 3x to the negative 7. So this makes our derivative just a couple of power rules, which is derivative of x squared is 2x. Derivative of negative 3x to the negative 7, bring the negative 7 down. That's going to give you a positive 21. And then x to the negative 8. So if we want, we could write this as 2x plus 21 over x to the 8. Now, let's take a look at this part of uh, y equals e to the ln of x squared. And just make sure we would have gotten the same if we hadn't simplified first. So if we're doing this, this is a chain rule. And so chain rule with an exponential, first thing you do is you leave it alone. You know, it's always going to have itself in there, times the derivative of the exponent. So this is what we're focusing on now. e to the ln of x squared times, so the derivative of ln of x squared, the derivative of natural log, this is a chain rule. It's always going to be 1 over what you're taking the natural log of times the derivative of what you're taking uh, the natural log of. So times the derivative of x squared, which is 2x. Now, it looks very different than the 2x we saw up here. But remember what we just said, e to the ln of x squared is equal to x squared. So we get x squared times 1 over x squared times 2x. Those will cancel, and there's the 2x that we got earlier. So that's just a little bit of showing that hey, either way, we're getting the same answer.